Hey guys, what's up? So only a couple of days are left for the OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro announcement, which will take place on the 14th of April, and we have our first live image of the phone. The live image here is for the OnePlus 8 Pro, and we can see the specs from the above section of the phone, which confirms the presence of the Snapdragon 865. This is the 12 256GB variant. It also confirms the camera specifications with a quad camera setup for the 8 Pro. Finally, we can see that the device has a 120Hz 6.78 inch of display. So nothing new here. We already know all the specifications of the OnePlus 8 Pro. If you want to see that video, I'll have a card right here. Now don't get confused with the Hydrogen OS moniker. It's just the Chinese version of Oxygen OS. Since the phones in China can't have the Google Apps or Google Play Store pre-installed, OnePlus has a slightly tweaked OS for that market. The image also pretty much confirms the design that we have been seeing through renders. We also have a confirmation on the camera specifications on both the phones. We already know that the 8 Pro will have a quad camera setup with the Sony IMX689 as the main sensor and the previous gen IMX586 as the ultra wide camera along with an 8 megapixel telephoto lens and a 5 megapixel color filter. The ultra wide will also be used as a macro camera for capturing objects from as close as 3 cm. The telephoto lens will be able to achieve a 3x optical zoom and a 30x hybrid zoom. The OnePlus 8 Pro will have a flicker sensor and 3D audio zoom similar to what we have seen on Samsung phones where if you zoom into a video, the sound from that direction will be amplified. What's new is that we are hearing that the Vanilla 8 will have the IMX586 as a main sensor and not the IMX689. Now though the 689 is the current generation sensor, that does not make the 586 a bad sensor at all since they are using it in the Pro as a wide angle. That being said, I just wish OnePlus had gone with the IMX689 on this one as well to keep it on par with the 8 Pro. Anyway, along with that, we have a 16 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel macro camera. So very capable hardware, but that has been the case every single time. OnePlus has always lagged behind Apple and Samsung in terms of processing of the images captured. That being said, we have some camera samples from the OnePlus 8 Pro shared by none other than Pete Lau himself, which to be honest looks great, but we should wait for the device to launch and only then can we be sure of the camera quality. The OnePlus 8 Pro is also supposed to bring wireless charging capabilities on a OnePlus phone for the first time and it will be a 30 watt charger capable of charging the phone from 1 to 50% in just 30 minutes. It uses OnePlus's charge pump and wireless direct charging architecture to achieve an efficiency of 97%. It also supports G wireless charging standards up to 5 watts and 10 watt EPP standard, so you're covered there as well. The phones will also support Wi-Fi 6, NFC, Bluetooth 5.1 and USB-C port along with stereo speakers, Dolby Atmos and an improved vibration motor. The prices have been leaked and the OnePlus 8 will start with 729 euros for the 8 128GB variant while the 12 256 would likely start at 2 829 euros. The 8 Pro on the other hand would start at 929 euros for the 8 128 and go till 1019 euros for the 12 256GB variant. Here in India, the OnePlus 8 might cost between 44 to 46,000 for the 8 128 and 48 to 50,000 for the 12 256, while the Pro may cost 62 to 64,000 for the 8 128 and 66 to 68 for the 12 256. So definitely higher prices compared to the OnePlus 70 and 70 Pro. The announcement is just a couple of days, so we will know for sure. Also, it is expected that you will be able to purchase it from 30th of April. Apart from this, we also know that OnePlus will be launching the Bullets Wireless Z alongside the 8 and 8 Pro. In in addition to the colors, we also have some specs courtesy of Ishan Agawal. The Bluetooth earphones will come with 20 hours of battery life. Also, you will be able to charge them for 10 minutes and listen for up to 10 hours. They will also come with an IP55 certification, which makes them dust and water resistant. They are also supposed to have a Bluetooth latency of just 110 milliseconds, which is great considering the Apple AirPods Pro has a 144 milliseconds of latency. The Bullets Wireless Z might have a price of 3,990 attached to it, whereas the wireless charger may launch between 5 to 6,000 Indian rupees. So a steep rise in prices, and at that price, the 8 Pro is competing with the Galaxy S20 and the iPhone. 11. So let us know in the comments below what would you prefer, an iPhone 11, a Galaxy S20 or the OnePlus 8 Pro since the prices are so similar. Also consider subscribing to the channel for more such videos and like this video while you are at it. I'll see you all in the next one. Till then, bye bye and stay safe.